As always, before we perform a service, safety is a key feature for us, a culture here, and it's something we take very seriously. So before you start to perform the service, make sure that we wear gloves so we don't get any chemical irritations on our skin. We also want to make sure that we have eye protection for any debris that may fly up and get in your eye. Also, under the hood of a running engine, we want to make sure that we don't have any loose clothing, jewelry, anything that could get tangled up into the fan blades and draw you in to, for potential harm. So if we could keep that top of mind, we could perform these services safely, effectively, as often as possible. Thank you. Here at WINS, we are excited to introduce our new EnviroPurge 2 cleaning tool for gasoline engines. Key features and benefits. 18 ounce clear reservoir for product visibility. Works off shop air. Adjustable pressure regulator. Works through throttle body or fuel rail. Adapter kit and throttle body tool sold separately. Welcome. Today we're going to perform a service with the WINS EnviroPurge 2 fuel cleaning tool. So before we get into the service side of it, what I want to go over some key features of this tool. First, the reservoir is fiberglass and it's see-through so we can see the level of product at any given time during the service. We have our air chuck for our air supply, shop supply hose, air regulator so we can control the amount of pressure that we in, install into the tool, our pressure gauge so we know how much we're installing as far as air, have our control valve for our fluid flow, on off, our service hose, quick disconnect tool, and then on this service we're going to be using the throttle body tool which we're going to install into the opening the throat of the throttle body. So before we get started with the service, we always want to make sure that our fluid control valve is off, closed, and we want to depress any air that may be into the reservoir so we don't have any spewing or any, any fluid coming out on us. So once we do that, we can remove the filler cap and pour our product in. So we have our funnel and we have our product. Once we have that in there, we're going to reinstall the cap. At this point, we're going to apply our shop air. Now, we're done with the tool till we start the service. So what we want to do now is we want to get the throttle body tool positioned into the throttle body so when we start the car, we can administer our product through there so we get an even flow through the intake. First off, we need to remove the boot. So we're going to remove the intake hose off of the front. We're going to position the throttle body tool in, and then we're going to slide the boot back over it. That's going to hold it in place in the position we need where when we install the mist of the product, it's going to hit the throttle body plate, and then it's going to be drawn in so we get an even flow. Once we have that, we're going to attach the tool. Okay. At this point, we're going to start the vehicle. We're going to use a pedal depressor or whatever means you have to get the idle to 12 to 1500. And then when we come back, we'll set the air pressure in the tool and then we'll be able to start the service. Now that we have the engine on and we have our idle set 12 to 1500, we have our shop air, we have our throttle body tool. We're ready to start the service. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust our air pressure to 40 PSI and then open our control valve so we start the fluid flow, start the cleaning process. So now we're going to adjust our regulator. 40 PSI. And now we're ready to open the control valve. So now we're just going to open the control valve. And we're starting to push the product through that S tool, which has a burner tip that creates a fine mist. Also, an, a key feature to this is you can see where you're at in the service through the fiberglass reservoir. So at this point, we're gonna let it run. It's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll show you how to complete the service. All of the induction cleaner has been used. We allowed 
the engine to idle for two minutes with an elevated idle at about 2,000 RPM so we clear any residual product that we have in the intake system. So once we have that done, we've now shut the engine off. Now we just need to get the vehicle back to a driving condition so we can test drive it. So by doing that, we want to make sure we depressurize our tool. So we're going to take the regulator and we're going to turn it fully counterclockwise. Now as you can see, we've done that, but we still have pressure. So we need to take the bleeder screw to press it on the top and we will relieve the pressure in the tool. Now as you can see, we have no pressure in the tool. Now it's safe to remove the tool and the S-tool and get the induction boot back on the throttle body. At this point, the service is completed. We want to make sure that all the services are done. You go take it for a quick test drive and then it'll be ready to give back to the consumer. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please contact your WIN sales rep or distributor. They can answer anything. Uh, there also is printed job aid material if you need that to help with this. And as always, we thank you. Have a great day. Contact your local distributor to test out this new effective tool for yourself or reach us through our website at WINSUSA for more information. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Wins USA and Wins Racing for helpful training tips and to stay current with Wins Racing information.